Different fibers, also called leaf fibers, such as abaca, are obtained from pseudo stems of plants. They are particularly suitable for spinning into coarse yarns and can be woven into fabrics. The thread comes from the neighboring mountain village of Valencia and is woven at home by mostly women in cooperatives here in Bacong, Negros Oriental. The black is sand from the nearby beach at Bacong and is used to prevent the thread from tangling as it is wound onto the spindle. The black stuff, what is it? If that process is difficult, winding the warp threads is even more so. One mistake and you have to start again. Before weaving can begin, all the warp threads must be carefully checked and any torn threads rejoined. So, mga pila ka blow, ayan na yung siya magagamit nga, yung munang matahe. Sa kasimana pa. Ah, one week. Oo, oo. Timong ko anong diba kumuran? Oo. Pwede niyo makuloran. O, ang sa'y gusto niyo makulo. Pwede. Ang mindot gidani katulikan sa kumuloan ba ka ng pag-harapis nila, pagkuan. Kuhan mo ko na sila, murag katong amo ang likuhaan sa una, sila isuki mga bagsakan. Kaya pwede na sila makaabad sa kwarta. Oo, hana ila kang buwan. Dahil, hanang timbangan ba? Pagkakuman nila o kis-kis, Ato nila i-bagsak. Oo. Then pagkatapos, nangapoy mo kulita, painog po dito sa kuwan. Lain na pong proseso. Okay, pareha saan niyo na nakahin mo siyang tela, asa din ang bagsak anak na kuwan? Asa din yung sa inyo sa inyo? May nila. Ah, din siya naman. Katipito, gaya po? Ah, katipito, gaya po. Muna yung sibli ipasok dito sa iyang barko-barko. Maganda pa kaya pinag siya.
Tessie Salboro not only excels in her craft, but also plays an integral role in nurturing the next generation of weavers. She is deeply committed to passing down her knowledge and skills to her children, ensuring that the art of weaving remains alive and thriving in Bacan. Tessie's dedication to teaching her children underscores the community's determination to preserve traditional weaving techniques and empower future artisans. Through her tireless efforts, Tessie embodies the spirit of resilience and cultural preservation that defines Bakong's weaving tradition. Before the pandemic, a friend of Tessie's used to weave and tailor barong Tagalog and barong blouses and even dresses and sun hats from the woven abaca fabric. If you like this video, please subscribe to my video channel, leave a like, share with friends, and leave a friendly comment. Thank you.